Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a quick overview of my sleeping system, which includes a sleeping mat, a sleeping bag and sleeping liner. And once I've done that, I'm going to do a review of the Alpkit Hunker bivy bag and how we use that with our sleeping system to wild camp here in the Cairngorms. Right, let's start with the Thermarest. As you can see, the Thermarest comes with its own storage bag, which keeps it dry, which is very, very handy, particularly when you are packing or unpacking your gear in damp or wet conditions. But let's get it out of the bag, get it rolled out and take it from there. As you can see, it's a mummy shaped sleeping mat and down here we have a nozzle for inflating the sleeping mat. I do it the old fashioned way, I blow it up manually, it takes less than a minute which is really quick and it's exactly what you want when you're out there wild camping in the mountains. As for dimensions, it is about, let's see, it's about 180 centimetres long. And at its widest point, it's about 53 centimetres wide. Now I'm not a huge guy, I'm about 5'9", somewhere between 5'9 and 5'10", and this is more than adequate for me. Next up is a sleeping bag. Now I've got a Snug Pack Softy 3 to 4 season sleeping bag. I'll put the exact details on the Lock and Cairn website. But let's get this out of its bag and have a look at it. So what we have here is a Snug Pack Softy Premier. I think it's a Premier 4. It is a 3 to 4 season sleeping bag. It's more a three season than four season to be fair. And as is the norm nowadays, it's a mummy shaped sleeping bag. Obviously it has the zip right down one side and along the zip that has this nice padded material which help keeps the heat inside the bag, which is very, very handy. And at shoulder height, it has two draw cords so that you can pull the sleeping bag tighter around your shoulders. Again, that keeps the heat inside the bag, which is very good. And finally up here at the hood, has another cord for tightening the hood around your head. So the end result is that you can be very, very tight inside your sleeping bag, snug and cozy, which is exactly what you want when the weather's slightly colder. As for dimensions, it is approximately, approximately 200 centimeters long. And at its widest point, it is approximately 80 centimetres long. So it's slightly bigger than the Thermarest, but it does the job. The only downside is it's quite bulky, which leads me to the bag. I don't carry the original container bag for the sleeping bag. I purchased a waterproof compression bag. Which allows me to really get the sleeping bag down to a size that fits my rucksack because at the end of the day it's not just about weight it's also about bulk so the smaller I can compress the bag the better. Next up is the sleeping liner we use a Life Venture silk mummy sleeper you can pick these up in any outdoor store in Britain we used to use a cotton liner then we discovered that a silk liner keeps you warmer, it packs smaller and it's lighter. So at that point it was a no-brainer and we switched over. So let's get this unpacked and put inside the sleeping bag.
and there you go you probably won't see it that well because it's black and black you just have to take my word for it but the sleeping liner goes in there and that is the sleeping system that we use all summer when we're wild camping so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the Alpkit Hunka bivy bag the Alpkit Hunka comes with its own container bag which is half water resistant material and half mesh which is a little bit disappointing I would have preferred if it came in a bag that was completely water resistant but it's a small issue and it obviously has a cord here so you can keep it nice and snug and tight but let's get it out of its bag roll it out so you can see the dimensions As you can see, a fairly simple design, water resistant material, mummy shaped bag, it's got a large hood area, it's got two draw cords for pulling the hood tight over the top of your head. At the bottom of the bag, the actual container is attached to the bottom of the bivy bag, which is handy, means you won't lose it. And as for dimensions, it is approximately It's approximately 235 centimeters long and at the widest point it is approximately 80 centimeters long so it's quite big this is actually the Alpkit Hunka extra large so this is the bigger size but what we'll do now is we'll get the sleeping system inside it so you can see how it all looks when we're using it for wild camping. And there you have it. We have the entire sleeping system inside the bivy bag. That includes the sleeping mat, the sleeping bag and the sleeping liner. This is how we used it in wild camp number six. Works very well in fair weather conditions but I'm not sure how well it would fare in a stormy night in the mountains. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I don't think this storm will last long, it's not too bad. You can see blue cloud, blue sky I should say over there already. It seems to be drifting in that direction, which is kind of south. Unfortunately, north of here looks pretty bleak as well. So I'm probably going to get hit by a few snowstorms today, I would, I would think. Of course, if it gets too bad, I can always abandon the trek and head home but it's nothing like that yet so far so good looking forward to getting back to the track though I have to be honest I'm not sure I've made any time by uh, cutting across this rise here <sighs> this is a path looks like a path has been hit by quite a lot of snowdrift. It might not be easy to get up there. I'll have a little go.